Well, hello YouTube. It's been a while and I've had a different railroad set up in here. I had some bench work of my father's that took up most of the whole room. Excuse the mess if you see any of it. It's still got pieces of wood scattered around the room, but it used to go from down there by the railroad sign to the corner and then down the wall behind me, which was about 15 foot. And I took it out and I moved it to the center of the room here and I, I don't want to move around a bunch and make you seasick, but what my plan is, is to build a railroad similar to the old Atlas plan of scenic and relaxed. And I set some bridge abutments up over there so that, you know, it's, it looks funny. It doesn't have the risers under there. I'm still going to glue foam down to the tabletop and then use Woodland Scenics risers to get the grade figured out. But I want it to <clears throat> go around this inside track here, the one with the wire sticking out. And it will go up the grade over the bridges and follow itself around, around some kind of mountain type scene. I want the back hidden. So the, the track that it'll first come up will go in the first tunnel porthole. And then the further one back is after it goes all the way around here and works itself back down around under the bridge. And it'll go back inside that tunnel. The track you see on the very back makes a whole loop around the whole railroad to that back bridge. I'll move over some so you can see it, but there'll be a small river there under the two lower bridges. And it'll go up into like a culvert there in the center somewhere, like the scenic and relaxed plan if you've ever looked at it. But that one that comes around the last loop there, the back loop that comes straight down through this crossing, <clears throat> it goes down, excuse me, it goes down through here. And it can go all the way around. The idea is that I can have two railroads, my dad's Missouri Pacific Railroad and then the Santa Fe stuff that I like running on one of the other tracks. Um, I haven't figured out if I might add some turnouts and things later, but this is basically just a rough version of it. I had a friend that had a railroad that half of it was scenic and relaxed and the other half he'd added some things onto, so... I stretched this out a bit. I suppose the original plan was about three by six foot, three by four foot. It wasn't very big, I think, in most of the old Atlas books. But this is three and a half foot or so by about 11 foot, this whole tabletop. So, and it'll break apart here in the middle. The legs will all come off. Hopefully I can tip it up on its side and take it out of here in the event I ever move. But... I wanted to get something going. I've got all my locomotives switched over to DCC, but I had nothing to run them on. I would bought all this track and things from my dad's estate after he passed, along with a lot of his stuff. I have shelves full of buildings that him and I have both built, and boxes of Cotto track. Just, I mean, you can see the mess I have around here. It's, it's... I'm working on it. It's getting cleaned up, but I wanted to make a video just so people could see that I'm doing something and you guys could get a look at my idea for this track plan and you can let me know what you think. I think it'll be interesting. I think it'll add variety. There's a little switching and there's tracks that can run. I've also thought about moving this further toward the closet wall over there and coming out from where that grain elevator is and just a simple curve around here to this wall and making about a foot wide section down this wall just to have some staging yard or some other switching like backdrop flats against there just to give some more stuff to do somewhere for this to come and go from and you know another another railroad the like i could have the santa fe be the center of the layout and the mopac come off of that switching layout over there that goes back onto this railroad so i can move stuff back and forth i think it has a lot of potential i still have a lot of cotto track left i have plenty to do this i have five or six turnouts left, maybe more, and plenty of straight track and curve track alike to, to add more or do more. I just don't want to overcrowd this, but let me know what you think. Please like, please subscribe. I'm back. I know I had some of you making some comments on some other videos, like the other small layout that I'd started in the Code 55 track. I just, when I realized that the stuff was running so good on his Kato track when I bought it all, I, I sold the jigs that I had for building turnouts and I switched to this 100%. I think this will be all right. I want to get some foam under it and get some trains test running on it before I make my mind up. But I think this is about what we're going to do. So I hope everybody has a nice Thanksgiving. Have a Merry Christmas.